Okay, remove all of the bleed screws and doughty seals. Then use the return stroke setter to make sure that the head piston is fully forward. As you can see it is. And as before with the priming syringes, we'll add approximately 30 millilitres or 30 cc's of oil into the priming syringe. As before, try to make sure that there's no air in the syringe or the extension. Just push any extra oil out until you can feel some in the rag. You know there's no air in then. When you've done that, do that with the other syringe and put one in each pull bleed port. Right, I'm going to push oil again from one syringe to the other. You see plenty of air coming through. As any time when you're pushing oil through, make sure the plunger doesn't drop below five millilitres so that you can make sure you're not pushing further air into the system. As you can see, the plunger's moving further up and you've got quite a lot of air now that has been pushed out of the pull side. More air. Try to do push as much oil through so you get as little air, but again, remembering not to go below five cc's. You can see, at five cc level now, lots of air come through. We'll start pushing through the other way. Again, important, even though the plunger's reading 20, because of the air, you need to make sure there's still a bit of oil there. You don't want to ever get to the point where oil has come through uh, past the extension and you're pushing air back into the system. You can see more air coming through again. Right, we want to make sure that neither plunger is higher than about 30 millilitres when you've finished priming this because we'll connect the tool to the air afterwards and the, uh, that ensures that the plunger stays within the syringe. Okay, when you make sure that neither plunger is over 30 millilitres uh, high in the syringe, including air and oil, then we're going to connect the air supply to the tool. We'll then trigger the tool, keep the trigger held and we'll disconnect the air when the air piston is in the bottom position. Okay, after that, remove the um, air supply, remove the priming syringe from the lower pull bleed port, and reseal with the screw and the doughty seal. Okay, once you've removed the syringe and resealed that port, make sure you've got at least 20 millilitres of oil in the uh, other syringe. We're then going to use the pull stroke setter and that's going to then position the head piston into the fully back position at 21mm stroke. And use both sides winding into the head to push the head piston back when the first um, travel on the, uh, on the pull stroke setter is done we'll then wind it, spin it round and then advance the head piston back for the second um, part of the travel. We'll wind this into the front of the head piston, on in, into the front of the head Right now, you can feel slight resistance now. Before you start winding anymore, you've got to maintain pressure on the syringe. So it's important to make sure anytime you wind the pull stroke setter, there's always pressure on here to make sure there's positive pressure going into the front of the head piston. Again, 27mm across flat spanner. I'm going to start winding the head piston back. Again, pressure at all times. When you're not winding, it doesn't matter, but as soon as you start winding, you need to keep pressure on to drive any oil in when required.
Okay, when you the uh, pull stroke setter is halfway, um, it'll then come up to a stop against the head, you can then unwind, pull stroke setter, and then wind in from the other side. And then this will advance the final 10.5mm of stroke. Again, wind up till you feel a bit of resistance, that's then in contact with the head piston. And again, keep pressure whilst you wind the head piston back for the final part of the stroke. See some of the oil coming out of the tool now because this isn't a completely dry tool. But on first assembly, there obviously won't be any oil in. Right, that is now 21 mil stroke. You can now release pressure from the syringe and remove the pull stroke setter. Okay, uh, when the head piston is in the 21 mil uh, stroke position, remove the second priming syringe and reseal the uh, pull bleed port. What I then do is get uh, approximately 30 mil of oil into both priming syringes and as before, try to remove all air from the syringe and from the prime extension just by pushing the plunge until you can feel oil in the rag. Do that for both of the syringes and then fit them to the both of the return ports on the head. Okay, and push as before oil from one syringe to the other. You can see air appearing in the second syringe. Again, ensuring that you never drop below five millilitres of oil in either syringe. See a small amount of air collecting there and cycle between the two. Again, there should be very little air in either syringe now because the head piston is in the back position and it's very uh, much smaller volume of oil in the return side. You can see that's running clear. So it's running free and easy. Even at the volumes, neither syringe should have anything more than about 25 millilitres of oil in either of them. Okay, now with um, both volumes evened out, no more than 25 millilitres of air or oil in either syringe. We'll connect the tool to the air supply. That'll then make sure the air piston is in the top position. Then disconnect the air supply. And remove the air supply. Okay, remove one of the priming syringes from the return side and reseal with the screw and the doughty seal. We're then going to use the return stroke setter to draw the head piston fully forward. It may be necessary to start it off with the starter nut. Remember to keep pressure on the syringe at all times. We're then going to use the return stroke setter to draw the head piston fully forward. As before, got to make sure there's always pressure on the syringe whenever you're drawing the head piston forward or back. So wind this on. Before we start turning, make sure there's pressure applied to the syringe. You can feel it start moving. You can see the back where the head piston is moving. Again, maintain pressure on the syringe. That's the end of the first. 
half of the stroke, so unwind the return stroke setter, and then do the same with the second. Okay, with the uh, head piston fully forward, you can release and you no longer need to put any more pressure on the syringe. That now means the head piston is fully forward. What we're going to do now is seat the floating piston against the air piston rod. So this will require a reasonable amount of pressure. As before, you'll feel the uh, piston hit the air piston rod you feel it, uh, or hear a small click when you do it. There you go, just hear a click. That means now that both pull and return sides are full of oil. What you can then do is remove the return stroke setter, remove the priming syringe, refit the bleed screw with the doughty seal, and the tool is primed. Okay, now you can connect the air supply, um, test the tool, make sure it's uh, stroking 21 mil, fully returning and operating normally. You can then place some product again, five and a half bar pressure, uh, after lock fastener. Uh, you can see obviously the tool's working fine now. If it isn't, follow the top up procedure next.